In this lecture, we will solve problem number 3 based on even and odd signals. In the previous problem, we obtained even component and the odd component of the signal directly by simply analyzing different terms involved in the signal. And we can do this because we know the properties of even and odd signals. But sometimes, we cannot use the properties to obtain the even and odd components directly. And in those cases, we are bound to use the formula. So the formula for even component and the odd component we have already derived. So we will use those formulas to obtain the answer. Like in this question, we cannot use the properties to obtain the even and odd components. So we will use the formula of even component and the formula of odd component. Xet is the even component when the original signal is xt and it is given as xt plus x minus t over 2 where x minus t is the signal you will obtain when you perform the time reversal x o t the odd component is equal to x t minus x minus t over 2 now to obtain the odd signal instead of adding the time reverse signal you need to subtract the time reverse signal or you can say we perform the time reversal we perform the time reversal to obtain x minus t and then we perform the amplitude reversal to obtain minus of x minus t and then add the obtained signal after performing these two operations to the original signal and then simply divide it by 2. So in even component we are performing only time reversal and then adding the obtained signal to the original signal divided by 2. But in odd component, we are performing the time reversal as well as the amplitude reversal and then adding the obtained signal to the original signal and then dividing by 2. So we'll use this to obtain the answer of this question. You can see the waveform of signal xt. From minus 2 to 0, we are having a straight line with slope equal to 2. So signal xt is linear with slope equal to 2 from minus 2 to 0. And signal xt is constant having the value equal to 4 from 0 to 2. We will first obtain the even component and for this we need to perform the time reversal. So we will perform the time reversal of signal xt. And to perform the time reversal we simply flip the signal about the y axis. We simply flip the signal about the y axis. And in that way we will obtain x minus t. By flipping the signal, we'll have the resultant signal like this 4, 0, 2, minus 2. And now to obtain the numerator, which is xt plus x minus t, we will add these two waveforms. And there is one important point regarding this addition. Whenever you perform the addition of dc plus some a linear signal having some slope then the resultant will have the upward or downward shift the resultant signal will have upward or downward shift with same slope so the slope will remain same and the upward and downward shift will depend on the DC value if you see the two signals from minus 2 to 0, you will find xt is linear with slope equal to 2 and x minus t is having the constant value. This means it is dc with value equal to 4. So there will be shift in the resultant signal by 4 and the slope of the signal will remain same as the slope of xt. I will show you how the final waveform looks. This time we are plotting the waveform of xt plus x minus t from minus 2 to 0 4 will be the shift and the shift will be upward because 4 is positive and the line will have the same slope slope is equal to 2 so this is the waveform of the signal and you have to be careful about the discontinuities if you see the value of xt before minus 2, you will find it is equal to 0. 
and value of x minus t before minus 2 is also equal to 0. 0 plus 0 will be 0. So this signal before minus 2 will be 0 but just after minus 2 you can see x minus t is equal to 4. x t is having some value which is very small close to 0. So we can assume it as 0. 0 plus 4 will give us 4. So just after minus 2 this signal will have value equal to 4. So be careful about the discontinuities in this signal. x t plus x minus t is the numerator of the even component of the signal or we can say it is the numerator of even signal. Even signal and we are dividing this numerator by a constant value. This means this signal x t plus x minus t will be even. So we have obtained the left hand side of the signal and to obtain the right hand side there is no need to perform any calculations. You can simply have the mirror image of the left hand side. So in this way we have obtained x t plus x minus t but to obtain x e t we need to perform the division by 2 and you can see this as the amplitude scaling because we can write x e t x e t as 0 0.5 multiplied with x t plus x minus t we have already obtained x t plus x minus t and to obtain x e t the only thing remaining is to multiply by 0 0.5 which is the case of amplitude scaling so I will modify this plot at minus 2 we were having 4 but when you multiply it by 0 0.5 you will have 2. At 0 we were having 8. Here we have 8. We are having 8 at 0 because x t at 0 is equal to 4 and x minus t at 0 is also equal to 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8 at 0 and now we will multiply it by 0 0.5 so this will give us 4 and at 2 we will have 2. We will join these three points and in this way we have the even component of signal xt. So this is the first part of this lecture. This is the even component of xt which is x e t. Now we will obtain the odd component x o t and for this we need to perform the amplitude reversal of x minus t. We already have x minus t so the next step is to perform the amplitude reversal of x minus t and when you perform the amplitude reversal of x minus t you will have a signal which is flipped about the x axis. So minus x minus t will look something like this. The signal flipped about the x axis. Okay minus 2 0 2 from minus 2 to 0 minus x minus t will be constant having the value equal to minus 4 and from 0 to 2 it will be linear with some slope now we will perform the addition we will perform the addition between the first signal the original signal x t and the signal we have obtained just now which is minus x minus t we will use the same rule we will use the same rule dc plus linear and this will give us the new signal which is the numerator of the odd component of the signal x t minus x minus t from minus 2 to 0 minus x minus t is having the value equal to minus 4 and x t is linear with slope equal to 2 so there will be shift and this shift this shift will make the final signal look like this. This is minus 4 from minus 2 to 0 and as this is the numerator of the odd component and we are dividing the numerator by a constant number which is 2 this signal here x t minus x minus t will also be the odd signal and we already know the property of the odd signals the left hand side of the odd signal will be mirror image 
of mirror image of the right hand side the vice versa is also true but in this case we have already obtained the right hand side of the signal and uh, to obtain the mirror image two times you can choose any axis for example you can perform the first mirror image about the y axis then the second mirror image you have to perform about the x axis in the same way if you choose to perform the first mirror image about the x axis perform the second mirror image about the y axis and this will give you the left hand side of the odd signal so let's do this this is the right hand side i will perform the mirror image about the x axis so we'll have a signal like this this is 4 and as i have performed the mirror image about the x axis now i will perform the mirror image about the y axis so it will give me a new signal which will look like this so this line here is the left hand side of this odd signal i will quickly draw it like this when t is less than minus 2 and when t is greater than plus 2 the signal is equal to 0 so the complete waveform will look like this this is the complete waveform and by using this waveform we will obtain the odd component and to do this we will divide this signal by 2 or we can say we will multiply this signal by 0 0.5 and in this way we are performing the amplitude scaling when you would multiply the signal by 0 0.5 you will have minus 2 at minus 2 and you will have 0 at 0 and you will have 2 at 2. Now we will join these three points and when t is greater than 2 this signal is also equal to 0 and when t is less than minus 2 this signal is also equal to 0. So this blue waveform is the odd component of signal xt which was given in the problem and it is represented by x O T. So this is all for this lecture and in this way you have to deal with the problems in which you cannot use the properties to find out even and odd components. I hope this lecture was clear to you and if you have any doubt regarding any part in this lecture you may ask in the comment section.